Welcome to Well of Grace Ministries. I'm Mary Andrews, the Executive Director here. Welcome everyone. Um, come on through, I'd like to show you our center. So Well of Grace Ministries, we work with adolescent girls and women. Um, we provide therapy groups. We offer three different programs. One is called Club H2O, and this is the space that we might use to um, do a group. We also have three other group rooms that we would um, hold a group in as well. We moved into this space just over a year ago and um, we are just feeling blessed because we can provide services to the ladies that really need it in our community. Um, so come on, come on in this way. So this is our purple room and we really want it to feel like we're welcoming um, everybody into our living room. We don't want it to feel like a sterile environment when um, girls or women are coming in to do a, a therapy group with us. So um, we provide services, like I said, for adolescent girls and women. So girls uh, 13 to 18 years of age and that group is called Club H2O and United Way is a partner, a funded, funding partner to Club H2O, and that's really one of the most successful groups that we offer through, not only here at our center, but throughout Berrien County. So right now we are in nine different school systems and adding groups um, pretty consistently uh, for the last couple of years. So we not only have groups here at our center, but also out in the community. So because of our partnership with United Way, um, Andrews University was able to take our um, evaluations from Club H2O, both the initial rating and outcome rating scales to make sure that we're measuring what we're doing in group appropriately. So this, this was great news. Even though we as group leaders feel like we're doing a good job, this was really validating for us to have our um, not only the tool, the uh, evaluation that we use um, validated, but also um, some of the stats that they gave us. So after attending a six-week group, 36% of the girls said they, they increased in liking themselves. So that's that self-esteem piece. 30% um, said they're getting along with their family members. And I don't know if you guys um, know teenagers, but that's unheard of. So <laughs> there's lots of conflict that happens, um, especially with family dynamic stuff. Um, so 57% of those girls said, I now have someone I trust to share my problems with. That's huge. So you're thinking nearly 60% of those girls didn't have someone that they really trusted with their problems. And then 35%, close to 35% increased in just overall happiness. So mm -hmm. finding joy, finding, um, using those coping skills that were given them, using the boundaries and increase in their self-esteem. So all of those are just great to validate what we're doing in the group setting. So this is a room we might uh, provide an OASIS group, which is for women over the age of 18. We would work with those women on a um, multitude of different issues, but since our groups are only six weeks long, we kind of tease out their, their most um, specific needs that first day of group. So we would sit here together, depending on who's in the building at that time. If we have another group, certainly we would go into one of the more private rooms that we have. So uh, follow me this way. So this would be a setting that we would have a group of ladies come in and um, hold that hour, hour and a half group. Typically that's the time frame that we use. Some groups, if we do more of a um, kind of a three hour, we're focused on maybe it's boundaries that we're working on, we'll do an elongated group for, for one very intentional, intense um, therapy session with a group of ladies. So it just depends on the focus, but typically our groups do meet for six weeks at a time. Okay. So we're heading into the creative expression room. I mean, I need, you need a sign. <laughs> So this is a room that we would use for not only um, maybe we've done some talk therapy with some of these teens or uh, women in our groups, 
but we want to do something kind of dig deeper on whatever the topic may be. So I pulled out a few different things that we've done um, with some of the groups and typically when we meet with teams we'll do a mask activity. And so what that activity looks like is um, we'll explain that, that um, you know, we'll ask them to identify what the world sees in them or what they allow the world to see and then what's really going on in the inside. And this is a beautiful way to, for us to tap into kind of what these struggles are that these ladies are facing and without them kind of pretty quick, short order of meeting them, we're finding out some pretty difficult things like I feel invisible, I'm scared and I'm worried, or I'm stressed, um, you know, I, I'm crying all the time, I'm fearful. Uh, and then, you know, but what I'm showing the world is I'm funny and respectful and loud and quiet. So typically I'm showing the world that I'm pretty happy, but on the inside something else is going on. So we get to tap into some of these things pretty quickly with using more of a creative expression um, technique. We started Well of Grace in 2004, um, got our 501c3, put together our mission statement, put together what, what it is we wanted to do, and uh, started raising money. And then in 2007, uh, we actually purchased a home in Stevensville and started a residential treatment program where we had 24 hour, seven day a week staff, so for two years then, we ran a residential treatment program. And during that time, um, we served 12 girls. So a variety of um, issues. Eating disorder was uh, very prevalent. Um, uh, sexual abuse, um, physical abuse. We had a couple of girls that aged out of foster care. Last year, in 2016, we served 375, and they're all from Berrien County. So our participants are um, referred here in, a ver in various ways, through maybe their primary care physician who met with them, who know about Well of Grace, and said, hey, do you know about this girls group? And it's free to join group. That's another beauty of Well of Grace. So participants come in, they don't have to pay for our services. Uh, we're, we're professionally led, not peer led, which is wonderful. So these are um, master's level or higher uh, leaders running these groups. And um, that's, it's just a beautiful gift um, to the community. So maybe their um, school counselor has heard about us and they can't get out of school. Maybe academics are just so tough for them, they can't really get out of the school. Even though we rotate the schedule so that teens don't miss the same um, class. Um, even though we rotate the schedule, maybe they want to come to group here at our center and, and not get out of any of their classes. Maybe academically it's just too tough for them to do that if that's an option at their school. Um, the other way would be maybe their um, counselor has heard about us and said, you know, group is such a cool way to just, you know, um, have create a support system and maybe work on these specific areas a bit more. We're all on the same page with wanting to provide the services that we provide and, um, and wanting to do it for free and not wanting to be a burden uh, to families. But it's been a great, it's been a great journey and we've had great people. Um, you know, United Way has a ton of resources and, and they're very approachable. So even, you know, anytime we've done a presentation or we've written grants, you know, when you're initially looking at something, and I took a grant writing class in graduate school, but even when you're looking at the grant writing process and you're thinking, oh my goodness, how am I going to fill all this out? Or what do they mean by this, 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 and this? But to be able to pick up the phone and call and say, okay, could you just explain this to me? Could you just talk to me like I'm four years old and explain <laughs> this to me? And so there's great people to work with. It's not, um, I, it's not like Mary and I have it all figured out, um, but we've been, just been surrounded by really great people. You know, I have to go back to accountability, that piece, but certainly the funding as well. You know, we're such a small non-for-profit but it's such a blessing too. I mean, there's there's value in the name of United Way in this community. It says, oh wow, 
you guys you guys are are doing good work it really is a stamp of approval in the community and so not not just the name stamp saying yes they're they're doing good work there but certainly the support like Leslie mentioned um, if I if I have a question about how can I get my well of grace more prominent on the internet I can call them and they will and I've asked the question and they are like ah let me get back to you on that and so they'll they'll even help the business part of it they'll help in any way that they can and I just love having that um, I mean it's a gift it's truly a gift uh, thank you so much for joining us here at Well of Grace and I hope you enjoyed the tour.